talk, we listen, we see. We use sound and light every day, all the time. But do we really know their behavior? What causes the delay between seeing and hearing the firework? Hi, I'm Dan, an MIT undergraduate from the Manned Vehicle Lab, and I'm here to talk to you about the differences between light and sound. Light and sound are both waves that travel through time and space, accompanied by the transference of energy from one point to another. But this is where the similarities end. Sound is a mechanical wave that requires a medium to propagate through, such as a solid, liquid, or gas, whereas light is an electromagnetic wave that doesn't require a propagation medium. Let's go see the effects of these different behaviors. You probably use your phone every day. And as you can see, when someone's calling me, I can see the light on the screen and the sound of the ringtone. Now we're going to use the vacuum chamber. We're going to put the cell phone inside the vacuum chamber and then turn it on. When I turn it on, a vacuum pump will remove the air and other gases from inside the chamber, leaving a low pressure environment. This environment will be completely void of matter, just like space. Look, I'm receiving a phone call again, and I can see the light, but what about the sound of the ringtone? And now, with no vacuum, we can hear the ringtone again. Oh, gross, it's my mom. We better put that back in the vacuum chamber. Surely you are familiar with storms and how we see the lightning first and then we hear the thunder. This is because the speed of light is 186,282 miles per second, whereas the speed of sound is only 0.2 miles per second. Because of this huge difference, there is a delay between seeing the light and hearing the sound. And the further you are from the storm, the larger this delay is. But this doesn't only apply to the storms, it also applies to other everyday situations. Remember that video from earlier? Let's go look at it again. As you noticed, we can see the explosion of light in the sky, and just some seconds later, you can hear the sound. The delay was about three seconds, and with this information, we can estimate the distance between the viewer and the burst. The speed of light is so high that the transmission of light can be considered instantaneous. So multiplying the speed of sound by the delay between the explosion of light and noise, we get the distance. In this case, the viewer was 0.6 miles from the burst. And, as a general rule, we can assume that every 5 seconds delay corresponds to a distance of 1 mile. Now you can know how far away a storm is by doing a few simple calculations. Now try it on your own with the following storm video. Determine the distance using the delay between the lightning and thunder. You should have counted about 17 seconds. Multiplying this by the speed of sound of 0.2 miles per second, you should get a distance of 3.4 miles.